We're here at the Tuckahoe Senior Bazaar, and this is the jewelry station. This is one of our most lucrative um, stops at the bazaar, and Faye Blossy has been running the jewelry stand for how many years now? 20 years. So I'm going to pass the mic to you. Tell us, tell us a little bit about the history of the jewelry. Well, we started the uh, bazaar with the Tucko Seniors in 1996. And we used to meet at Four Union Place. Then they built the uh, Tuckahoe Community Center, and we went there, and we had our jewelry once a year. Then from there, we went back to Tuckahoe for Union Place, and when they built this area, we came when we got, came here to the Assumption Church, we have a larger crowd coming than we, because there's more room here. And now all the jewelry, I get a lot of um, uh, second-hand jewelry or uh, recycled jewelry, but I get a lot of new jewelry from our merchants. And uh, some of our members bring in a lot of beautiful uh, jewelry. And a lot of this is all tagged and priced, and it's put out. And we have a nice uh, sale. We have same people coming back buying. So today we are doing very well because we have a beautiful day. And uh, the last two years we were here, we had rainy weather, and we still made out well. So I guess that's it. That's the history. I guess it, that's it. And I can tell you that Faye works on this all summer. This is not just a week or two project. She actually we uh, collects the jewelry, cleans it, repairs it, and prices it. So this is a huge project, and she does a fantastic. She and her team do a fantastic job. Thanks, Faye. So this is the bake sale, and um, all of our members either bake things or or buy things. Um, and you can come here and sit down, have a cup of coffee, and get a cupcake or something. We have uh, Senator Latimer here who is, you, you gotta buy a piece of uh, coffee cake well, or something. Here's, here's my great challenge, Jennifer. I've got to, I'm certainly going to buy some sweets, but I've got to make sure I don't eat it in the car the rest of the day. <laughs> so I figure if I buy one of these delicious cakes and I put it in the back part of the, like the trunk part of the car, I won't be tempted because I it? would be tempted otherwise. So who's going to eat it? Uh, oh, I'll bring it home. Oh, I'll okay, home. okay. And then Actually, I'll leave it in the refrigerator later tonight. We have a lot of people who come here and they're having a dinner party or something and the, yeah. they know about the bake sale, so they come here and uh, buy breakfast in the morning or s dessert for a dinner party. So. Well, and I've been here, obviously, aside from visiting the seniors, regularly I've been at this before and and these ladies make a really nice dessert so they know what they're doing and uh, so therefore it's a good buy. I don't know if people are going to be seeing this uh, within the course of this day or they'll be seen afterwards but if they're seeing afterwards they really missed out on it right, right. so they'll have to make it put in their calendar. Right, they need the to come next year. year. Right. right. So, anyway, so thank you for all your great, support great everything that you do for Tucko seniors and for the Senior Citizens Council nice. we appreciate well, I hope it. It's a successful day for you. Great guys. thanks Thank Senator. Okay, so now we're at the white elephant sale, and this is an opportunity for all of our seniors to clean out their closets. And in fact, I can tell you, I moved and I cleaned out my closets and donated a lot of stuff. You can get some great bargains here. Betty's in charge of this. Betty's got a big team. So Betty, tell us a little bit about uh, the white elephant sale. Uh, the white el elephant sale, we have a lot of pillows, we have blankets, we have a lot of crystal, and um, we have, there's so many things here. Um, for the kitchen and of course we have the Christmas uh, table which is go a very good so please come in and, and enjoy it <laughs> thanks Patty We are, um, of course, every year we sell food. We're doing hot dogs and hamburgers. So it's a great uh, opportunity to come and get a little quick lunch while you're shopping. And Faye, I'm going to pass the mic to you. Faye Camisa and Georgina Walsh work at the work at the ticket sales for the last couple of years. We're doing well. We're doing well. Have you had a hamburger yet? How's the kitchen staff? How's the kitchen staff doing? 
<laughs> hot dogs, okay. So the kitchen, the kitchen staff works really hard. This is probably one of the toughest jobs during the, the day. It's like a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in the kitchen. And as I said, we have hot dogs and hamburgers. Ladies, how's it going in the kitchen? <laughs> how's it going in the kitchen? Come on over. Say, say hi. <laughs> we'll give Gary a free hamburger or hot dog. Spoil the soup. How heard. are you, Tony? Thank you. For, well, thank, thank you for coming. Oh, I'm delighted to be here. Did this you get a, a hot? Idea. Did you get a hot dog or a hamburger? No, actually, I'm trying to cut back, and that pound cake is calling to me. Uh, but I said, you know what? Let me just get a cup of coffee and try to try to do the right thing. But I was lucky. I was found a pair of uh, cufflinks. My father and I went to a black tie event. My mother called and said he needs some cufflinks. So I said, well, I have one pair that I can give him, but I want him back. So I figured, you know, that's never going to happen. You so know, I, I found a pair. Back. Yes, I'm going to give these to him and get my cufflinks back. Oh, that's a so good trade. This was a great find. That's a good actually. trade. There were three pairs of cufflinks at one table there, and it hit a home run. So I was very lucky. But this is a great event. Delighted to be here. What a glorious day, too. Oh, fantastic. It, the it, last two years, that we had horrendous weather. I know. I remember it was like a hurricane, horrible cold leaves blowing in the door and everything. This is just glorious. This is a great event for the ladies, though, too. They do a fantastic job, as you do as well. Thank you. Thank you. My so we, we appreciate the support that we get from the town of Eastchester. And I remind everybody, um, this event, basically what we do with the proceeds is we put it in our bus fund so we can go on trips and uh, makes our trips really affordable for the seniors. So it's a really important fundraiser for well, us. It's an excellent program, and stuff like this keeps it excellent. So very happy to participate. And everyone has to, everyone contributes. That's the most impar exactly important right. part, right? So That's thank right. you for coming. My pleasure to be here. Go buy some raffle tickets. That's right. And I, I have a pocket full of scripts. Oh, fantastic. I said to somebody, I could probably make a bonfire. You can see it from the there movie. There you go. Tickets we have here. Well, hopefully you win something. Yeah, you so. never know. A little luck would be good. Right. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Take care. We're just wandering around, and it's it's Mayor White. How are you doing? Winter today, huh? I'm really happy to be here with see all the uh, old friends. So, have you bought some raffle tickets? Not yet. I'm. Oh yes, I did from Denzel, and uh, my wife is going to uh, do the shopping around here because she, she's a, an expert at shopping. Good way to buy some early Christmas presents, right? That's right. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. My pleasure. So this is Libby. She's actually one of our members, but she always, every year, has a, a table here. And Libby is a beautiful seamstress, and she does all these handmade um, bibs, baby bibs, aprons, table runners. table runners. Tell us a little bit about your business. What you do. Well, I do lots of things. I enjoy creating new table runners and new bibs and new new ideas for aprons take dish towels and make them into aprons and dinner napkins and turn them into aprons and do all kinds of things so she does a lot of um, baby items too so next year if you haven't been here before and you need to buy some baby gifts she's got some beautiful baby baby items and actually you do pretty well here at the bazaar right yes, I do. so thank you for doing this yes. Thank you. Thank you. So we're here also with Councilman uh, Marcocha and his son here at the bazaar. Thank you for coming. Did you find something? Great, yeah. great. So thanks for coming. Make sure you buy some raffle tickets and things. Um, I've already mentioned this before. This is our main fundraiser of the year, and we put the money in the, in the bus fund. So we need all the support we can get from the community, but we especially uh, appreciate the support of the town of Eastchester. Thank you so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. I love being here every year. It's just a great event, and uh, it looks like you're doing very well this year. The weather held out, and we have a beautiful day. And, of course, I always buy my raffle tickets. I know you usually have a 50-50 and a lot of great prizes from different merchants. So I, uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully picking something up there and uh, maybe winning. You never know. I got my, my wife a nice uh, 
necklace here. It's beautiful. Oh, nice. Actually. Very yeah. nice. That'll make her happy. And, uh, and Marco's got a little something here. Yeah, so. so everybody's happy, and we're happy, too. We've actually this year got great support again from all the merchants. I think you saw over there we have over 75 gift items. So all the uh, local merchants support us. We have a number of volunteers that go around to the, com the, the community and ask for, you know, gift donations, gift cards, and such, and they were extremely supportive of us. So I got to tell you, our merchants are great. They support you know our locals uh, particularly our seniors and our seniors are great and uh, I love being here and uh, they do a great job and you're doing an excellent work here at the Father Fata Hall with the seniors and it's just great to see so uh, thank you for uh, for doing this thanks for having us and uh, I hope you raise a lot of money today. Great. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. And I just want to make one comment about the hall. I think you probably can see it in the video. Um, we are so lucky that uh, the Parish of Immaculate Conception and Assumption of Our Lady uh, allows us to use this space here on Tuesdays and Thursdays. They've done a great renovation. I don't know if you've been here to see this. It's, we've got a new paint job, new floors, new bathrooms, and it, the space is really, really wonderful. So I want to make sure I uh, do not forget to thank the parish for uh, giving the Tuckahoe seniors the use of the space. It's 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 great. Yeah, and I say you know the the Assumption Church is uh, doing a great job here. It's a beautiful hall. They've they've rented very very nicely. I remember when they used to play bingo in here. So it's just nice to see. Um, and when they had the carnival, it used to be like a casino hall. I think a lot of people remember that. But it's just it's great to see how things transform, and it's great that it's being utilized as a uh, up here as primarily as a senior center and. Uh, it's just it's, it's, it's good to see and it looks beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. So I want to introduce Arlene Gruber. She is our uh, newly installed president as of July 1st. Um, she's going to be serving for the next two years, or if not three years. And Arlene is also uh, the chair of the journal effort. Frankly, she, she puts the whole thing together. She does a tremendous job. So tell us a little bit about the journal. I just, um, I do, I start the solicitation uh, beginning of August and I do, we just finished the journal and it's published. And I just want to thank all the vendors, uh, the people in town uh, that have been contributed because we use this, um, these funds for our uh, bus trips and uh, we uh, charge less to the seniors and they're able to go on all these nice trips and um, it's really wonderful but uh, it's the participation of all the vendors that uh, make it possible it's a it's a monumental task but it's worth it and uh, come and see us at the senior citizens we love it here Thank you, Arlene, for all you do. This is a this is a multi-month effort on Arlene's part. We start in July trying to put the journal together. So again, thank you to all the vendors and the merchants out there and other organizations that support us by buying ad space in the journal. Also to the uh, the patrons and to all the uh, merchants who donate gifts. Uh, we put all that information in the journal. And as Arlene said, it's a very very important fundraiser to us. Thank you. And thank you for your job as president also. It's nice. Um, I, I hope uh, I can contribute a lot to this uh, being as president, and um, I look forward to the next couple of years. Thank you.